There, there should be frustration. Um, when, I, when I saw it, you know, all I can think about is what happened during the Civil Rights Movement. This is, you know, sadly um, at a time when African Americans uh, were fighting uh, for our rights to be considered equal in this country. Um, even at that time, law enforcement and, and others used water hoses to stop protesters. And it, it just kind of takes us back, unfortunately, to that time. Um, and no other human being should be able to do that to any other human being, period. Um, as far as I'm concerned, it's assault. Uh, and there should be um, consequences. And, and clearly, we know that there are people on our streets who are struggling with mental illness, with substance use disorder. Um, we know that people are very frustrated. Uh, but this is not the solution. This is not um, how you take out your frustrations and your anger, um, you know, on someone who clearly not only couldn't help themselves, but also someone who said they were not interested in, in pressing charges. It's clear that this person needs help, this person needs support, um, and this is what's wrong with our uh, laws in our state around being able to help someone struggling with mental illness into uh, treatment indoors into a level of support into a level of care like where we are today um, our system is broken and right now um, you know Senator Scott Weiner have been working for years to um, make some changes to our conservatorship laws and right now uh, Senator Susan Eggman we're working hand in hand with her on some of those changes my hope is that we are able to help someone like this um, even when they say they don't want help. But again, a solution is not assault. A solution is not a water hole. This is really um, disturbing um, and sad and frustrating. Uh, and it will be, um, from my understanding, dealt with. It's under investigation uh, by the police department. And so uh, we'll see what happens.